over on the good old Hoodlum Scrafty YouTube channel came across this gem. We have a uh, Ponymon Dawn version. First things I want to say is if you're a brony or you like my little pony or whatever, I don't I don't care. You can like it because I'm gonna just um I'm gonna expose something real quick. I um I used to be a fan too. This was uh, my desktop wallpaper back in 2013. Now to be fair, I was 16 years old at the time. I don't know. I just I was a fan of My Little Pony back, uh, back once, and, um, Fluttershy was my favorite, for anyone wondering. Anyways, yeah, back to this. You ever played, um, you ever played, uh, those, I forget what they're called, uh, Moemon? Yeah, it's, this is basically Mo Moemon, but with, um, My Little Pony characters. Oh, oh wait, they replaced potions with juice. Juice, sorry, juice, what the... 100% pure juice restores HP of um, a Ponymon. Cool. I'm curious as, as to how much I can remember about these games. I wonder what the star Pokemon are gonna be. Um, Cause like, isn't there like, there's like five main horses. There's Applejack, Pinkie Pie, Twilight Sparkle, Fluttershy, and Rainbow Dash. So like, oh, okay, Rainbow Dash is one of them. I, I feel like it might be, I feel like it might be Rainbow Dash, Pinkie Pie. Yeah, okay, Rainbow Dash, Pinkie Pie, called Pinkie Pie. I want to say Fluttershy because Fluttershy is my personal favorite, um, or was when I was 16. But I feel I, f I feel an Applejack. Oh, it's Twilight. I don't know. I should have yeah, should have known. It's the loyalty type. Okay, so wait, they added their own types to this game too, and it has no special ability. Uh, it is F dash, which I mean, I think that means it's um like a baby. I think the thing that's sort of piquing my interest with this game is the fact that they have they've renamed the moves and changed up the moves and they've got different types right so i think from from looking at this i think rainbow dash is actually an electric type but they renamed it to loyalty type and hoof stomp uh light type is normal is normal uh, and then yeah loyalty is electric so i don't know if they're gonna be super effective on the same things like i don't know if i'm gonna be able to hit whatever water types replaced with for super effective damage but I don't know, it's I guess it's kind of neat to, to change up the types. Oh <gasps> This is all I needed to see. It's it's, it's my girl. It's, it's uh it's a baby Fluttershy. I feel like Fluttershy's gotta be a flying type variant, so if I use Dash. Oh, it's not super effective, okay. Honestly the only reason I kept playing was just to see what evolution was like, but so at level 16 and F Dash here still hasn't evolved, so I'm gonna I'm gonna stop playing for now. Um, I mean, there's been a lot of work put into it so far and I hope it finishes. I mean, I might personally not play it, but if any of you guys that like My Little Pony and wanna give it a shot, uh, this this one's for you, man. Now it's time for the main ROM hack uh, that we're gonna be looking at in this video. It's called Pokemon Gary's Mod. Now, when I was looking for ROM hacks to play through, uh, I saw this and I was like, oh, is this like something to do with the actual game Gary's Mod? But uh, no, it's not. This is basically Pokemon Fire Red and Leaf Green, but from Gary's perspective, I guess. And I just think that's really cool. I mean, I love the Kanto region. I like exploring it. And I think it'll be really cool to explore it, like, in a different way. This game isn't finished, but I figured maybe giving it some more publicity might make the developer of the game who is doing this solo, by the way, shout out to him. Might, uh, might encourage him to continue it because I'm gonna say, man, the concept is amazing. Um, I've read the uh, post about it. I know there's a few bugs here and there. So we're just gonna name the characters what they're intended to be named. We're gonna call him Gary. I'm gonna call this guy Ash. Oh, okay. So we start off here. So we're gonna, oh wait, there's only one Pokemon. What the hell? Hi, Gary. Glad you could make it. Today's a very good day after all. Uh, now where's your friend Ash? Maybe he got lost looking for the lab. I'll go find him. You stay here. Oh, okay. Okay. So this is, this is how it goes. This is from Gary's perspective. So I wanna. This is, must be the Pokemon Gramps promised me. Okay, cool. I mean, I guess, we, I think we gotta go, we just gotta look around. Okay, so I spoke to those two, um, those two, uh, things up next to the Pokedexes, those things on the right of the Pokedex, and, uh, he came back immediately, so I guess that's the thing that triggers the event. Rams, we're fed up with waiting. I told you to be patient Will I finally be ready to begin. Look, Ash, you see that ball on the table? It's called Pokeball. Holds a Pokemon inside. Go ahead, take it. Hey, Grams, no fair. What about me? Be patient, Gary. I'll give you one later. So he's just gonna go ahead and Take his- oh wait, okay. No way, Ash. This Pokemon was meant for me. Okay. Oh, so we, we get Eevee! Okay, hell yeah. Wow. Okay, Gary... I mean, you know, 
I was um I was going into this game feeling bad. I'm like, you know, Gary, you know what? The, the creator's right. Gary doesn't get line light at all. <laughs> Gary's kind of a kind of um a poopy head. I'm gonna I'm gonna say to be child friendly. <laughs> Gary, what are you doing? Gramps, I want this one. This is meant for me, but I Oh alright then. That Pokemon is yours. Ash, come over here. Damn, Gary, Gary could have possibly gotten Pikachu. That's I mean, I think Eevee's... I don't know, is Eevee... I mean, Raichu's pretty dope, but Ash never never evolves it. Wait, Ash, let's check out our Pokemon. Come on, I'll take you on. Okay, so as I'm leaving, I decide, you know you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna beat his ass right right after I physically beat his ass. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it with, with, in Pokemon uh, also. Sorry, kid, the road's blocked. Something about Ted Blazer only getting this far for the beta. Yeah, Ted Blazer is the guy that's working on this ROM hack. I was assuming I would have to go talk to the uh, Elite Four guys, uh, or the, the Victory Road people, just so then I can turn around and have Red coming over here to battle me. Oh, oh wow, yep, there we there we go. It's so cool, playing from Gary's perspective. Hey, Ash, uh, you're off to the Pokemon League? Forget about it, you probably don't even have any badges, do you? It's like the same dialogue, we're just playing as him. Oh wow, okay, okay, I didn't expect that. Okay, cool. And it's gonna be so cool seeing like, Ash's team as well because obviously he usually just has Pikachu but like he, early on he's Rotata. that's that's dope I know I get excited over the smallest things but I'm actually so so pumped to see this ROM hack like just develop and just see where it goes All right so as I was going to the Pokemon League I picked up this item called coffee and I was a bit like uh, what the heck why did I get that and it, it's for this guy they just they just have the, the, like the Tay, Tay Blaze who's making this He's, that is everything thought out. This is private property. That in your hands. Is that is that the coffee I lost? You don't mind giving it to an old man in his golden elixir, do you? I mean, you give him the coffee, and that's how Red can now get past him. That's crazy. Crazy stuff. Eevee's learning a move called Round Eyes. Okay, hold up. Oh, wait, they added Fairy type? Oh, man, are you serious? Yo, the effort put into this game. Are you, are you, they got physical special split too. Oh man, like Fire Red and Leaf Green are probably like my favorite Pokemon games overall So like it's just super exciting for me to be able to like play through a different perspective I guess yeah something that just occurred to me is that I uh, have Eevee as my starter and um, Gym leader is uh, rock type Pokemon so right so we have to bring in the big strong monkey man um, to defeat this gym because um, we ain't gonna we ain't gonna do it any other way. Defeated Brock now going to the right here. It says you always run off from done talking. I swear one day I'm gonna get you. He's gonna get you in a lot of trouble. Anyways, Grandpa asked me to give you these. His aides worked on. It's called running shoes. Ooh, ooh, uh, running shoes. Wow, those are um, pretty pretty new pretty new concept. Um, yeah, this is where um. All the, the shoe companies like uh, Timberland and um, is where is it where Timberland and Timberland and Yeezy got their inspiration from from Pokemon. Pokemon developed the running shoe. Uh, Timberland and Yeezy was inspired. This is joke is terrible. So usually where the Team Rocket guy stands, they have a hiker here. You're something else, kid. Don't get in too much trouble. These guys don't play around. Yeah, I'm not sure if they're talking about Team Rocket. But he said, the tiger was like, yeah, these guys paid me $100 to stand here. So, like, I mean, I guess Team Rocket aren't here yet or something. And then obviously whenever Red decides to go through the cave, that's when they're actually there to battle. I don't know. Like, who have we got up here? Do we have a Team Rocket guy? No, no. Oh, wow. Okay, here they are. What the hell? Giving direct orders to make sure nobody gets past here, so beat it. I assume I gotta do some exploring then. Oi. Hey, nobody gets through on my watch. Oh, wow. There seems to be like a cave entrance up there. What the heck? Okay. Uh... Okay, this is a different area of Mount Moon. What the hell? Okay, is this like the outskirts of Mount Moon? Little kid you guys are in the grown-up business. This could be bad news. Wow, so like he added like his own storyline, which is just so, so cool. Okay, so we have this little part here. Gives us a moonstone and then what's through here? Is this the... Oh my god, where are we? Okay, got some form of like Team Rocket like side quest thing going on here. This is awesome, man. Now, I don't mean to sound like a Genji main, but, um, I need healing. So I hope it's nothing too crazy and I can actually- Okay, hello. Are you the kid that's been messing up our operation? 
Archer put me specifically in charge of this group. I can return to him empty-handed. Gang in the way. Nothing personal, kid. It's just business. Nothing personal, kid. So if Archer doesn't tell the boss of this. Ooh. And then I'm assuming this is like a quick way down to where we were before. Hell yeah, dude. Oh my god, he actually thought of everything. Like, even on Nugget Bridge. Truth be told, we only started doing this Nugget Bridge challenge recently. It was organized by this one guy. He seemed to have disappeared, but he wanted it to be some kind of recruitment test. What the hell is this? Hello? This is Bill's Lighthouse. Oh, Bill has a light? Oh yeah, Bill does have a lighthouse. That's so cool. What? Okay, is he in here? Or, like, where? where's Bill? Hold up. Oh, I didn't see you there. My name is Bill. I'm a Pokemon researcher. Most people call me a Pokemaniac. Hey, you're Professor Oak's grandson. Oh, right. Hey, I just met you, and this is crazy, but can I ask a favor? Uh, you see the teleporter I've set behind me? I was supposed to simulate a trade, except it's only with one person. Working on finding a way to activate trade evolution by yourself. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay. So I have to go get him some... Okay, okay. Now I'm finishing touching on my teleporter. Could you work on the computer for me? Last some basic questions to calibrate, that's all. Chop the computer when you're ready, cool. All right, let's do this. I think it's 1.5. I, I was just get which Pokemon does not evolve through trading. Uh, okay, this one. <laughs> Woohoo, you're on fire. Okay, there are, these are actually like, except for Mega Evolutions, there are four stage evolution lines. Uh, no, there are not. Aha, that was the last one. I mean, these are, I mean, I guess they're pretty basic questions if you're into the Pokemon series. Hello. Thanks for all your help. Um, token of gratitude, I have a prototype link cable on my desk. Back at the lighthouse, um, it will act like a trade evolve Pokemon accordingly. Speaking of a trade, you should you visit the SSN. Traders from all over the world are to trade rare Pokemon. Okay. So it gave me this link cable. Peculiar cable that makes certain species of Pokemon evolve. It's mo uh, modeled after a link cable. Oh, that's... So like, the, he, he physically made an item in game. A, like basically like a obviously like a, a leaf stone I guess it's it's an evolution item but he made it a little that's so that's just so like good like I, I'm just I, I don't even I, I I'm just I'm just so blown away by all the extra effort put into this game yo Ash you're still struggling along back here I'm doing great I caught a bunch of strong and smart Pokemon here let me see what you can okay so yeah I, I assumed we're about to battle Ash now unfortunately my Pokemon aren't healed so I'm probably gonna lose um I don't know, we'll see, we'll see. Let's see what Ash has got. He's got a Butterfree alright. Okay, okay, Ash, okay, okay. Takedown one shot it, but Takedown does also have a lot of recoil damage, so this is gonna be a tough one. Ash has a Geodude, so I basically just lost here. Wow, I didn't actually expect to win this battle, but Eevee did it by Eevee surprisingly lays pipe. Eevee is really strong. Oh my god, Eevee just soloed it by itself. Like three take no, four, two takedowns to star me and star you each. Did it. Um, of course, recoil damage got me, but I don't care. Beat leader Misty. Wow, great. Eevee, Eevee's OP, man. I'm just gonna keep Eevee as Eevee. I don't even need Numbreon. So I remember one thing on the download page was saying that you actually have to go through Diglett's cave, like, proper- Like, they, he's- he's added proper, like- Like, oh my god, look at this. Hello. He added- he made Diglett's cave, like, actually interesting, which is amazing. Um, I think we have to go through Diglett's Cave to progress because I think we need to get the SS ticket uh, from Route 2. And obviously Route 2 is all the way, uh, Route 2 is all the way back there at the beginning of the game. So we gotta go, we gotta go back to Route 2. Oh my god, it's a dog trio. Look at this man. Okay, so apparently this guy gives us the SS ticket rather than the, um, the, the bike voucher because there's these other guys, uh, through Diglett's Cave that give you the bike voucher. Well, they sell you a fake one. Um, cause like, oh yeah, they can't tell the difference between real and fake ones. So I'm not sure what the guy on Route 2 is meant to give me. Cause like, I did go to Route 2, but you need cut, and we don't have cut yet cause we need to go into the SSN, so... I figured I'd have another look around, and yes, we can go in the SSN. I was worried that maybe he hadn't, uh, you know, completed the game up to this point, and I'd have to stop playing. Cause I've been, I've been really enjoying this, so I'm glad that there's more content here for me to explore. So I just get to scoot on up here, and get cut from this guy, how's it going? You've come to learn a secret move cut, haven't you? Luckily for you, I've condensed it into HM and teach all your Pokemon. Unfortunately, at the moment, I'm a little busy with this. Uh, HM to one of my trusted sailors on my desk. There's a lit. Wait, what the? Are you kidding me? List of sailors. Okay. Huey scrubs the decks. Dewey manages the kitchens. And Louis guards the cabins. So I've got to. I guess I've got to battle one of these guys and one of them are gonna give me the, the move, whatever. Well, you're Ash, imagine seeing you here. 
Oh my god, it says I already caught eight kinds, pal. It literally tells him how much Pokemon I've caught, and I've only got eight. Oh, he has a Charmeleon now. What the hell? Where did you get that? I mean, that's that's cool regardless. Your lucky day, Captain did give me his HM. Here you go, mate. Thanks. Finally. It's cool that he put us on a little side quest to go get the HM, though. Like, I, I don't know. I'm liking I'm liking the changes so far. Just like, it's just the simple things that just, that just make me happy. All right, so the guy changed this puzzle to where... Guy flipped the switch. Oh wait, okay, never mind. Okay, so I, I, okay, hold on. Yeah, okay, the live wire shocked Gary's party. So I just, I had a full healed team, and now my team is all messed up. What the hell? That's so rude. Okay, so the live wire shocked Gary's party. Let's see. Yo, that does so much damage. What the hell? Okay, so for this puzzle, you literally just had to find four switches, and they were all in the same position, so they didn't change at all. So that. It wasn't that hard. I didn't even add Dugtrio on my team to de defeat Surge easily. I just accidentally started training Diglett and I just sort of kept him. Okay, he made a Electabuzz uh, Surge's main Pokemon in this game. Okay, that's different. You managed to beat Lieutenant Surge. You have guts, kid. You're the right man for the job. Look after this squirrel for me. Help it grow in strength and size. So, Gary, so like Ash having Charmander or Charmeleon, I guess, we have a Squirtle now. So that's, that's pretty dope. So I think with that, we're going to go ahead and wrap this up here. I don't know if there's um, much more to play after this, so I think I'm going to leave it at this. But if this game gets updated, I will for sure continue playing because this was a lot of fun. I really like the idea of playing from Gary's perspective, so I hope this is a ROM hack that gets finished. I hope it just isn't one of those like ROM hacks that... Regardless, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Thanks so much for watching this series and supporting. I'm glad you guys like this series so much. Next time I should be hopefully looking at some more bad ROM hacks. I figured I'd just keep the positive vibes going for one more week. See you next time.